Setting up your mechanical scale is really not a hard thing to do. A lot of people don't understand really how to zero them out or how to read them. So we'll go ahead and do a quick segment on actually how to read it and then how to zero it. So first, let's go ahead and zoom in right here. Now, when you take a look, you have 150 and then you have 200. Each of these hash marks in between do represent a five. Now, the higher ones or the taller ones these represent a 25 mark. So let's go ahead and open my pen up a little bit. Here you have 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and then the next would be 200. So it's the same way all the way through, from zero all the way to the 500 grain mark that, uh, that you can do this balance in. So to make sure that you've got everything zeroed, make sure that you've got the bigger portion of the weight on zero, and you get the smaller portion over on zero over here as well. Now this bar, it's exactly the same as what you saw on the other side. This goes from zero to one, and this hash mark right here is a 5. So you have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1. And then it would be uh, the same ascending going from there. So let's say that uh, you have something that's going to require a good weight and balance here. You want to make sure that this portion here, this hash mark, which is your zero mark, is flush with this portion right here. To do so, you need to make sure that you get your scale level and balanced. And this little spin wheel will raise everything up or down, and it will get that zeroed out for you. So let's go ahead and zoom on that, make sure I'm balanced and when we're all set to go. It does need to come down just a hair. So right there. Right now we've got a fully balanced uh, beam and we're ready to go ahead and start doing our measurements. So I'm not going to put anything in here right now. I just want to show that we've got it balanced, you know, how to read everything and go from here. Let's go ahead and take it out to, say, 50 grains. So if I need 50 grain, there we go. I've got it set up for 50. Let's go ahead and zoom this in a little bit more. So now I'm set at 50. This over here is at zero. This is at 50. So therefore, I know I'm at, you know, 50 grains. So say I want... 50.5. I'll go ahead and move this over to the 5. So now I'm at a half over here, 50 here, there's 50.5. What if I need 50.6? Go ahead and take this, move it over one more, and now you can see that this is at 50.6. When we get into the powder measurements uh, and get a little bit more detailed, it'll make a little bit more sense. Uh, hopefully right now that, that you know that's understandable for people that are new to reloading. Sometimes the mechanical skills can be intimidating. Uh, personally, I love mine. Uh, however, I do also use a uh, digital scale. I like to do a cross-reference. And the funny thing is, I do find that the mechanical scale uh, is usually more accurate than what you get with some of these digital scales. I really think these are worth their weight in gold. Um, I usually just do the precision rifle. Uh, I've been re reloading my own pistol uh, with a single press also, or a single stage press, and I find it to be a great benefit to use this.